in this box is like an anatomy book because I've been wanting to learn anatomy. So let's open it and hopefully you can't see my address. I'll probably just heard it out. But anyways, let's open it up. Here it is. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Like it's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Like this is my hand and like I do not have small hands. Okay, so um pretty big it is by tom fox draws there was a lot of good reviews on it so i'm hoping it's good uh it looks good <laughs> i'm excited to use it and i'll show you guys what i learned from it and any important things i want to show you guys before i start using it i would like to tell you guys just in case there might be some nudity probably not when i'm studying but just in case there is warning right now oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's it so the first day instead of really drawing or writing it writing anything um, I just kind of looked through it and took in the information, but later I did end up um, doing stuff. And basically right here, I was just like trying to write stuff down, so I set it up, but it was really kind of annoying because it was hard to keep up because it was just so big and it kept falling. To really be onto that simplification, which is what most people are, because it's very good in creating effective lines. Um, so he's very into that simple shapes, as you can tell from here. Um, and he makes it very clear in many examples. And it, like I said, I didn't say anything, but did a quick skin through, and he does this a lot where this is less appealing to the appealing, and I can see that. <laughs> And also, I am going to like point at a lot of stuff because I talked a lot and I'm not going to include a lot of it because it was just a lot of rambling. But right here was like my first set of like notes, I guess you could say. In that section, it was kind of just talking about like turning, like thinking of objects in 3D form. Right here, it's like a point and show uh, like think about like he's talking about loading lines in this section. So like this one. Um, he's saying, don't forget to think about which one's overlapping with just like which cube is going from which cube, because we don't know which one's going from which one, what's the point of overlapping? Yes, I just ramble so much, like I'm pointing at so much stuff, and I don't even know what I was talking about, I was just kind of like talking. So it's the next day, and I can officially say I quite like the book, it's a really good book, and um, it teaches you a lot, and shows a lot of different examples. Um, let me let me show you some things. <laughs> it's about like forms and like plates or planes, whatever you want to call it, to help add three D. Um, and he also talks about things like overlapping forms, and he teaches it in a very easy way to teach. I feel like I don't know about other books because I I've never really owned any art books like this, at least. But I'll just tell you my experience, and this is the only one I know, so. Uh, don't make fun of me if every book does this, but um, it teaches in very easy ways. But it also just covers a lot of things I didn't even think about in the beginning, and it's already helped me quite a bit. And I also like the almost relatableness of the book. <laughs> that sounds weird, but if I can find the right page, I'll show you what I mean. He just kind of like throws in little uh tiny tiny like not the funniest in the world but they are like little jokes and i feel like it just makes it seem less like robotic to me and i know that sounds weird but i always like it when it's fun and easy to read compared to um other books i couldn't find it because i suck at looking for things i guess but he just like he just kind of just adds like a comfortableness to the book and he explains things really well um in paragraphs that aren't really annoying to read and he also uses more box methods so um i feel like the box method or just boxy methods are like really split like either you 
are with it and you like it or you absolutely hate it and nobody should use it. So um, if you don't believe in the box method thing, um, don't get this book because he talks a lot about using boxes in your art. But besides that, I mean, it's literally for like everybody. So yeah, I'm not the best at reviewing things and I'm sorry about that. I'll get better one of these days. But in my opinion, it's honestly just like a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, you know? And I totally recommend getting it. It can definitely help a lot with your anatomy if you're struggling it with it like me. And um, that's basically it. <laughs> I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye, love you.